and welcome to Splotch Code. In this mini lesson, I'm going to show you how you can use your own backdrops within Scratch. So we'll go over to the backdrop section down the right hand corner down here. Now usually we've been going to choose a backdrop by clicking on this little one, the run right down the bottom and that takes us into the whole heap of backdrops that Scratch have that we can choose. But if you want, don't want to use one of those and you actually want to use your own photo or something you've created using a graphic software, you can upload that and use that. So what we do is instead of clicking on the bottom one here, we're going to go right up to the top of this and you'll see there's one here that shows upload backdrop. So we're going to click on that now. And what it does is it opens up our files, all of the files on our computer. So what I've got here, I've got a photo that I'm going to upload. So I click on the photo that I want and I just hit open. And what it will do is it imports, you'll see the file is importing and it's going to allow me to use that photo as my backdrop. So you'll see here, it's opened up my backdrops tab here. I have now got my picture of Hyde Park. And so that's saved in my backdrops. If we go back over now to our, where our cat is, we can have him, I'm going to move him so he looks like he's standing on the ground rather than on top of the flowers. And there he is in front of that backdrop. So you can use any of your own photos or if you've created some sort of file using graph, other graphic software that you've made, then you can use that too. So it allows you to use anything you want as your backdrop to use in your stories or in your games for Scratch. Thanks for watching Splotch Code.